Hi friends, welcome again. So in the last couple of sessions, we uh, talked about definition of circle. We talked about uh, arc of a circle. We talked about major arc, minor arc, the central angle. In this session, we are going to talk about other features and other parts of the circle, namely chord, segment, secant, arc, sector and all that. Okay. So let's first draw a circle. So point A is the center. B, A, B is the radius. So let me join B, A, B segment so ab is the radius and you can measure this segment also so if you see this segment is six unit long okay now what are we going to discuss is first thing is we were going to discuss about chords guys so chord is nothing but a segment joining two points on the circle so let's say these two points cd so cd is a chord okay what is a chord the chord is nothing but a line segment joining any two points on the circle, right? Neither interior nor exterior on the circle. Now, if this chord, let me just take this point D and start moving it and let's see what happens. So if you see, there is one case when it is passing through the center, when it is passing through the center, this particular thing this particular case when the chord cd is passing through the center is called the diameter so cd is the diameter okay so you can have infinitely many diameters isn't it so if you see one point here and then like that so this is another diameter then if i take this point here and yeah so you can see there are thousands not thousands billions million trillions zillions however you can think of these many diameters are there so diameter right now another interesting point about this chord what is it if you see as i move away from center keeping one point fixed it lens keeps length keeps on changing let's evaluate this as well so let me say this is 3.93 right now if i you know if i reduce it you know it is close going closer to point c so the value the length cd is changing and as d is moving away as cd is moving away the length of cd is increasing can you see that can you see that 11.97979912 so the moment it passes through the center it becomes 12 correct and as again it moves away moves away from the center the value starts decreasing 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 and finally ends up being zero so hence, what do we learn from this that the chord which passes through the center is the longest and hence we can define the dia as the longest chord as well, isn't it? So as the chord is moving or let's say the length is changing as it moves closer to the center, okay, it is, you know, if it passes through the center, it is having the maximum length, right? This is called diameter, guys. Okay, so you understood what is a chord, what is a diameter? Now, so the diameter divides the two circle, uh, sorry, the given circle into two halves and each half is called the semicircle. You know this already. So for example, C to E, B, G, D. So from D to G, then B, then E, then C. This part, this part is called semicircle. Similarly, C, H, F, D. This part is also another semicircle. Is that okay, guys? So this is there are two one diameter divides a circle into two equal parts it's so called semicircle now let's talk about something else something else so hence uh, let me just uh, take this away okay take this away and hide it okay now once again if you now focus on let's say the cd a uh, chord now chord cd is dividing the circle into two halves can you see so one is above the cd segment one is below the cd segment so if i have to you know this one is one part this part and this lower part is another part right now this part the bigger area part in which the center lies is called major segment so let me you know um write it out so it's called so it is major segment okay this is major segment okay so what is major segment this is major segment what is minor segment let me write minor segment minor 
segment okay so where is minor segment this is minor segment guys okay so the major segment carries the, the center minor segment doesn't carry the center okay another uh, you know uh, parts or let's say attributes of circle is this so let's say if you have a line let's say i have a line which cuts the circle so a line can cut a circle in you know three ways one where it is cutting in two points so can you see that so this point is here k and l right k and l so so l is not the point just a minute i'll mark the point so hence if you see yeah k and l k and l are the points okay so this line can this line is cutting through the circle at two points so if i if l is coming close to k so if you see what happens is it touches the circle exactly at one point right this particular case when the line is touching the circle exactly at one point is called the tangent so this line is called tangent so let me write it is tangent okay so this line is tangent guys okay and any other line passing like that which it cuts into two uh, uh, which cuts the circle at two points is called a secant okay so this line is called secant tangent is done secant is done major segment minor segment chord diameter radius all that you learned is it okay so this is what we are going to deal with all these you know uh, definitions and attributes we are going to discuss more on the properties of circles one another thing which i missed on uh, missed to tell you is the same line there can there can exist a line which doesn't touch or cut the circle at all so hence there are three possible uh, there are three possibilities for, sorry for interaction between a circle and a line either it doesn't they don't touch each other, each other or the tang or the line touches the circle exactly at one point when it is called a tangent so don't get confused this is the tangent not this is this general line is not the tangent so tangent this line is tangent okay and a line can also cut the circle at two points in that case it is called a secant okay so please remember these facts